those. 
takes one and a half of a pipe cleaner, so we're going to need, you know, anywhere from 25 to 35 pipe cleaners, but I don't think that's going to be a problem, and if I find that I don't have enough of the blue and white, I can, I can go back up in my attic and look through my craft stash again and probably find some more. I'm, I'm sure there are more up there. <laughs> I have way too much stuff. Okay. Um, and for the wreath form, as usual, and pretty much this is what I always use, the 14-inch wreath form from Dollar Tree. They just call it a wreath ring right here. Um, yeah, so this is a 14-inch wreath ring, but if you've seen the wreaths I make, the actual wreath itself is going to be significantly larger than this form. It's going to be pretty big. Um, they also have, at my, doll, my local Dollar Tree right now, they have beach-themed uh, wreath uh, forms as well. They have one that's like a, an anchor. They have one that's like a starfish. I mean, so you can get different shapes if you want to do something other than just a round one. You can pick different shapes. Okay, and, and just cut them out, leaving the backing on the 
size, whatever length you want. I typically go with about nine inches, and that applies to the mesh as well. So you have your piece of ribbon that's cut straight across. You're just going to fold it in half lengthwise like this, and the fold is right here, and you're just going to take whatever scissors you're using and just cut off that corner.
this. Now this, this mesh right here was actually, it's more solid and seems to be slightly better quality than some of the other Dollar Tree mesh. It even looks better. Um, yeah, it still has sort of the, the crazy ends on it that grab everything, but this is a nice sturdy mesh. Okay. And again, I like the roll technique because when you roll it up, you can really see the stripes better. The stripes, I feel, show up a little bit better in the roll technique. Whoops. See, they stick to everything. Pieces here that hold the four sections together. Now, when I add 
and just kind of spread them around on the reef form like that. Now we are not ready to decorate yet. This is always the first step. You want to get all of your bundles created and added and arranged the way you want them before you start adding any decorations. Because really, once you start to glue stuff into it, it becomes a lot harder to move these bundles around. So I like to get all that done before any decorating goes on. So I'm going to actually spread these out and keep making bundles, some with ribbon, some without, and add these to the wreath form. And then we will come back and see what it looks like. I have now created all of the bundles and added them to the wreath form. Um, I kind of changed the way I did the bundles a little bit as I was going along and seeing how the wreath was kind of taking shape. Sometimes when you make them, you know, you start out with a certain, you kind of see in your mind what you want it to look like, but as you create it, like it doesn't, it doesn't always turn out the way you want it, so you may have to kind of change the way you do things a little bit, and I kind of had to do that with this one. Uh, I have not added any decorations to it yet, but I want to show you how it looks so far. Ah, here we go. Now, I did change the way I did some stuff with this one. Um, first of all, I added a few bundles done in the starburst technique because all of the rolls together, honestly, <laughs> to me it started to look like a clown wig a little bit. And I didn't like it and I thought it would look better with a few pieces kind of sticking out. So I did some of the white mesh and had it sticking out and I also did... I did one bundle in each of the other colors and made it stick out. So they're done in the starburst technique, not the roll technique. And I didn't add anywhere near as much ribbon as I originally planned to add. There's really not a ton of ribbon in here. There's there's a little bit, but not a ton. Because I got to thinking about it. Um, with all of the decorations we're going to add to this, I just kind of felt like with all the decorations, a lot of ribbon would just be overboard. Like it would just, it would just be too much. So I ended up just at, just adding about a third of the amount of ribbon that I originally planned to add there. But I really, I really do love all the colors. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not, but I actually really do. And um, I did not add any of the plain white blue mesh. I just stuck with colors that I showed you, all of them except the solid light blue. I didn't add any of that. Um, I just kind of held it up and looked at it and it just didn't fit. So yeah, like I was saying, sometimes as you are creating it, you kind of have to change your technique a little bit as you go to get it to look the way you want it to look. And I, I'm actually very happy with it. I would be fine with leaving it just as it is, but we're going to add some decorative, we're going to add some decorative items to it, of course. We have our little laser cut craft icons. We're going to add those. We have our greenery and our Dollar Tree baby's breath here. We're going to put some of that in there. We have our seashells. I picked out some just I tried to find just little colorful but lightweight seashells that looked like they would be easy to glue into the wreath. So I have this one. They're all kind of the same. This one's more of a brown color. I love that one. It's pretty. I have a million of these things. 